Hi, my name is Richard Capone. I'm the CEO of Let's Go Learn, and I'm going to show you parents how you can use Dora Data to help you teach your students to read. All right. So first of all, I'm logging into a class. This is some fictitious. Well, it's real student data, but the names are have been changed. Um, so it's interesting to look at this real data. So let's first look at a kindergartner. All right, Teddy. Now we're a multiple measure assessment, so I have scores across high frequency words, word recognition phonics, phonemic awareness, spelling, vocabulary, and comprehension. And notice how I roll my mouse over it. We also see the grade range, uh, 0.5 to 3.83. It tells us the name, high frequency word subtest. Now this is interesting. This student here, if I look at it, let's look at their summary report. Okay, so now we see this is a kindergartner and they're doing great, right? Within decoding uh, high frequency words or just when they memorize words that are irregular and regular, um, 3.5, mid third grade, that's great. Um, word recognition is high third grade. Phonics is their lowest skill. Now for a kindergartner, that's fine or right, technically, but that's the skill I want to work on because all they do is they know their, their beginning sounds. They don't know short vowel or any of the other skills. So it tell, that gives me a target place to start. Um, in terms of comprehension, it's the minimum score. So right now, because they're a kindergartner, we don't have high expectations, but this student really is just decoding, but they're not really making meaning from text, okay? Because maybe they're just focusing on the decoding process. So if I wanna know what to do, I may actually go to the parent-teacher report and take a look at it. And now this sort of tells us what we're supposed to do. You know, how do you bring it all together? And we come down here, we see, how do you make meaning from text? Before reading new text, have a short discussion with your child about the book's topic. The goal is to get your child to think about what he or she knows and provide context for him or her. All right, so blah, blah, blah. So this, this is great information for you. Let's take a look at another student who is um, a little older, Umberto. Now look at this, this is interesting. Umberto is in third grade, but he's got some lower comprehension skills and even his, his decoding skills are, are a little bit interesting. So let's look at the summary report. Again, this is the kind of information you'll get on your child and you could test it any amount of times. Whenever you test, it provides a growth measure too. So interesting, for this student, uh, third grade, green check, I mean they're good in high frequency words were correct, but they're lowest in phonics. This student is purely a sight word reader, meaning they're memorizing every word. They're, they don't know how to figure out an unknown word. They can't actually decode it because all they know is some of their beginning sounds. So this gives you really a focus area. Let's focus on that. Now as a result, their comprehension is really low, right? First grade and they're a third grader. Probably they're spending so much energy decoding and not knowing how to deal with tricky words, it affects their comprehension. So again, work on phonics, but then also still working on comprehension strategy skills. Good vocabulary, that's great. Spelling is a little low, so we need to work on that too. Again, I would go to the parent-teacher report, take a look at it, there's uh, ideas and activities that you can do to help the student. The next step is once all this data is done, you could also use our EDGE course, which will create a custom course for your student depending on what they need, whether it's decoding and phonics, whether it's sight words, whether it's comprehension, vocabulary, it's all customized. All right, thank you very much.